yo folks, what's up? A lot of you have heard me rant about the Angle Powerball, which is an amp that I dislike uh, quite a bit. Um, some of you got the impression that I hate Angle amps in, in, in general, which is absolutely not true at all. I quite like the Richie Blackmore, the Savage, and especially this bugger, um, which is a, an Angle straight from the early 90s, I think. And they built this one, it's discontinued now, um, as a 100 watts head, 50 watts head, and as a combo as well. And this is the 50 watts version, and it's tight as the Virgin Sars. Uh, it's, it's really, it, it doesn't need a boost. It's not the highest gain head, but it's, it's, it's great and definitely enough gain for like classic metal and thrash and stuff. So let me show you a little bit of it. This is the... PV Vandenberg and with a Fishman Fluence modern pickup in the bridge position. And the amp goes into the Torpedo Live loaded with my Angle uh, 412 cabinet impulse response mic with a single SM57. And there's no boost, nothing. Um, yeah, so. It's pretty tight as you can hear. Presence is fairly high now. Could reduce some of the fizz. <laughs> tight. Um, it's got a few options here. Clean, lead, a lead boost, mid shift. What this does is mid shift on. Without. And with. Just boost some high mids. It's got a bright, bright switch, which no one needs, I think. It's bright enough. You can bypass the entire EQ section. Which makes it sound really weird. Might work for leads, but definitely not for rhythm if you want that scoop tish sound. My favorite angle amp, grab one if you can. It's on eBay classified Germany all the time. Um, Europe in general. Might be difficult to get one in the USA, but <laughs> that's gotta be some advantage to like gear advantage at least to, to living in Europe. Cause like your stuff is crazy expensive over here, like Mesa Boogie and shit. So we got this instead, which is pretty cool. So take care guys. <laughs>